Dear Soria, when you came into the world, it was in a sterile hospital room. I had to have an emergency C-section, and although I couldn't feel the incision, the great pressure that pulled your small body out of me was explosive. And then I heard you cry. I knew you were safe, and I immediately passed out from exhaustion. When I came into the world, it was in a refugee camp in Thailand. There were no walls or windows, just tents and a makeshift hospital. Your grandmother, my mother, Ye, was bedridden for days. You come from a family of refugees. Initially, Cambodians were considered illegal in the Thai camps. We weren't wanted, but hundreds of thousands of us, including your grandparents, spilled over into Thailand from Cambodia. The world was watching, and eventually the Thai government allowed our people to come in. Before that, we were illegal Khmers. When I learned this, I wanted to ask how they could even consider turning people like us away. Today, when your grandparents see you, they're beside themselves with joy at your freedom to express yourself, the brilliance of your opinion and intellect, and purple hair. You come from a family of refugees. While you love to go camping like your father, I was born in a refugee camp. You should be able to see where you come from, how you came to me. Once I thought to ask Tha why you left Cambodia. He said there was nothing left for him there. What did he mean, I wondered. Then I remembered that while looking for vaccination documents for your uncle Jamie, I came across our family's refugee papers. They listed our family members as being dead or missing. The final two words sealed their fate. No others. Perhaps this is what Tha meant when he said there was nothing left in Cambodia. Did he mean no one? You come from a family of refugees. I came to the U.S. in 1981, and I wasn't alone. That year, more than 38,000 other Cambodians came as well the largest influx of Cambodian refugees the U.S. has ever seen. As of the 2010 census, only 16% of Cambodians in the U.S. had received a bachelor's degree or higher. I'm in a PhD program. Do you know that's near impossible for others with histories like mine? 65% of Cambodians in the U.S. have not attended college. Think about this number. That's over half of our people. And so when people want to see refugees as freeloaders, remember that we were placed in the poorest places in this country with few resources. But we were supposed to be glad. Remember, the difference between an immigrant and a refugee is that the latter is forced to leave. If Cambodia had been a safer place, I've no doubt that you would have been born there too. But babies don't have a choice about where they are born. And sometimes, as adults, we don't have a choice about where to go, where to live, or leave. And so I will say this here and ask that you tell others that you were born from a refugee mother. There was a time when the world didn't want us. We stayed alive. But now, let us remind others not to turn away, to show compassion to others who may or may not look like us but deserve the same consideration and safety. Be good, baby cakes, and remember, love mama.